Hello guys, here's Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today is a quick tip tutorial because my last tutorials were uh, quite long. So now is something quick and simple. In this tutorial I will show you how to make your skin whiter, how to whiten skin. I don't know, maybe some of you like uh, this type of effects. So hope you enjoy this tutorial. And at first uh, we need to duplicate our image. Then go to Image, Adjustments and Desaturate. And now change your Blend Mode to Screen. As you see it's uh, extremely bright, uh, so uh, we need to change Opacity. I change it uh, to 30%. Maybe I should change to uh, 25 but I stay with uh, 30 right now. And now we need to clear the parts like lips, uh, fingernails, eyes, uh, hair and eyebrows. For this I use eraser tools. As you see, it's a uh, now it's a uh, huge different. Here I remove uh, too much, so sorry for that. But it's only a tutorial. And now it's time for another step. And then another step. Go to channel mixer. Uh, press it default and output channel blue. And set red at fifty. And blue at 30% ok but as you see now your lips uh, lost uh, uh, the natural uh, color uh, we need to clear it uh, also but really uh, be careful with this right now Uh, as you see, we get this uh, cold uh, color. Also, you should try with your own uh, properties in Channel Mixer. Maybe you can find something better. And uh, I don't think it's a great idea to clear the hair right now because uh, uh, you can destroy the image but uh, I change opacity to 60% and uh, clear but just a little because I don't wanna uh, destroy this uh, effect and, and uh, make it unnatural. But when you decided to do this, uh, you should be uh, very careful. Uh, 
it's almost done. I change opacity on this uh, to 50%. And now I think uh, it looks much better. And now our image is too warm, I think. So again, go to channel mixer and press the default and now output channel red and change red to 50 or 60%. I put 55 right now. And change opacity to 35% it should be okay as you see it's huge difference but it doesn't look perfect so it's good idea to add some contrast so click here and go to brightness and contrast and I set contrast at 60 And now I think it looks real nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment and feel free to leave your opinion. And see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.